Now, for organic search engine optimization, we're going to discuss on-site content changes. Now, when we're looking at a web page in particular, we're going to go back to www.seo.cc, and we're going to use, got a little W there, we're going to use as an example the search engine optimization page. Search. I'm going to write out my keywords that I want the search engine to detect and hyphen them out. Optimization. Dot HTML. Now, on the page itself, for the content assignment, I'm going to want to have a few areas where we make sure that within the content, we're seeing the words search engine optimization. In your meta tags, you're going to want to make sure that your title is going to read search engine optimization, or at least have the keyword embedded. The title is what's going to be at the top of the web browser when the page pulls up. It's going to be along the, the top of the toolbar there. It's not actually going to be on the page itself. So to keep it simple, I'm just going to put the acronym SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. I'm going to close my title tag and assign that this page is about Search Engine Optimization, SEO. Now when we go into the actual content of the page itself, we're going to want to make sure that we have an H type heading. It could be H1, it could be an H2. You can look up and assign whichever graphically fits into your page itself. But you want there to be header language so when the search engine reads your website, it reads from the meta tags down into the header information of the page itself. Now when you're looking at the actual on-site content, for example, now we have our header tag, which once again will reflect SEO. There's different components of SEO that people might actually be searching for and they could actually use to find your site. So if somebody wanted to, for example, read about an SEO ranking report, you'd actually want to place content that says SEO ranking report and make this content, SEO ranking report, a hyperlink, a hot link, and assign it to a page that covers the topic of SEO ranking report. Now what happens is when the search engine actually clicks on this keyword SEO ranking report, it understands the page that it's being led into, which will be the box down here, your page number two, that leads into, is actually going to talk about an SEO ranking report. Now the computer has actually built in the relevancy from here to there. Now back into how your content should be reflected for the word search engine optimization, you'll want to keep what's called the keyword density quite light as to how often you're speaking about SEO or search engine optimization. For example, if you have 500 words on the site itself, you'll want to keep it at approximately 25 to 5%. It depends on how many keywords you'd like to actually place on the page. But you don't want the reader to actually identify that you're placing the words for these purposes. So you'll take the 500, if this is the total number of words on your page, and you'll assign, for example, 5%, which would actually be 25 words which could allow you to mention search engine optimization or SEO anywhere from, let's say, five to ten times. And then you'll have a word page focused on the keyword of SEO, search engine optimization, built relevantly, leading into another relevant topic to search engine optimization and SEO, which is your SEO ranking report, which leads into another page. The deeper that you build your pages beyond the initial page,